happening. Um, it is a National Apprenticeship Week, so it's a big week for us, anyone involved in apprenticeships. Um, it's a very exciting week. Um, we will be covering key facts around apprenticeships and um, skills for life, current live vacancies that we have here at LMP, um, how to apply and eligibility requirements, and CV and application tips. Um, and then we will be hearing from two of our current apprentices here at LMP as well. Um, so a very exciting morning. So I am your co-host for today. My name is Poppy. I am the recruitment team leader here at LMP. And um, we will be joined by our guest speakers, Lily and Oliver, as I said, two of our current uh, apprentices here at LMP. And we've got our fabulous recruitment team as our panelists joining us. And um, we've got Katie, Lou, Haria, Owen and Danielle. Um, a little reminder just to put any questions that you have in the Q&A function, not the chat box, um, and the team will get back to you um, um, as you go through the, um, the session today. So any questions you've got, pop them in the Q&A function there. All right. So um, let's get things started. Uh, so why are we doing these webinars today? You know, what's the aim of, um, of the session today? So to spread awareness about our apprenticeships. It's a great way to communicate to so many of you. Um, to talk about our, our opportunities, our apprenticeships, our employability programs that are available. Um, to support people of all ages into apprenticeships and gain those skills for life. Um, so skills for life is our uh, theme for National Apprenticeship Week uh, this year. So lots um, of information around those skills that you gain. Um, and by the end of the session, you should have an idea of how apprenticeships work. Um, within the programmes um, that we have on offer. I just want to check that you can all see my screen as well. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, fine. <laughs> just wanted to check. It's not coming up on my screen, so that's fine. As long as you guys can see it, we'll crack on. Um, and yeah, just a little reminder that um, the webinar will be recorded today as well. All right, for those that can't join. So without further ado, um, a little bit about us. So us at LMP Education, we are a nationwide uh, award-winning training provider, and we're really focused on creating opportunities for young people and people of all ages to help them into employment. So specifically around apprenticeships. And we do this through our apprenticeship offer, our added value courses, and our short course offerings as well. So we'll go into a little bit more detail around that further on in the session. Um, we work with employers large and small all over England um, and we deliver a high quality training um, platform through blended forms of learning um, and we offer um, apprenticeships through key sort of three key specific areas and they're on the screen there for you so business and professional finance and accounts and teaching and early years. OK, a little bit more about us then and who we are. Um, as I mentioned, we offer more than just apprenticeships. Um, so we have our LMP action team um, who focus specifically on sort of social action projects, community projects and outreach. And we actually started as a youth sports camp, um, which we still run, you know, holiday residential camps today. Um, our goal is to inspire ambition and create inspirational learning journeys for all. Um, so that is really at the heart of what we do here at LMP. Um, we are rated good by Ofsted and we are ranked in the top 10 training providers across the UK and voted best apprentice employer with the Inspire ATA um, sister company of ours. So something we're really, really proud of here at LMP. Um, and to give you an idea of how many people we tend to support and work with sort of year on, year out, um, within our apprenticeship function last year, so 2023, we helped 654 apprentices start their apprenticeship programme with us, which is an awful lot of people. Um, and it just sort of puts into perspective the sort of vast volume of people that we work with um, in supporting them into their career. So, yeah. That's a little bit about us and um, who we work with then. So you'll probably recognize a few of these logos and brands on your screen. And um, we have hundreds of live opportunities, which we will go through at the end of the session. Um, and these are some of the biggest employers um, in the country. 
as I say, you'll recognise um, probably quite a few of those that are on your screen there. We work with hundreds of schools, um, big trusts and academies, hotel names, um, government departments, the NHS, uh, fashion retailers, early years nurseries. The list is really endless. Um, and what's great about having this variety is that we're able to offer so many different career pathways for our applicants. Um, so there is really something for everyone um, here at LMP. Um, and what I will say, and I'll probably come on to a little bit later on, if we don't have a live vacancy that's in your area um, within the field that you're looking to go into, we will always work with you as an applicant and find you something that is suitable. All right. So moving on then to our actual apprenticeship course offerings. Um, so there's 17 apprenticeships um, that we specifically focus on um, and offer across those three key sectors that I mentioned earlier on. Um, so we have teaching, early years, apprenticeships, the finance sector, and then business and professional kind of the office admin um, kind of space as well. Um, we have anywhere between, I would say, sort of 90 to uh, 200 vacancies um, at any one time, as I say, across the whole of the UK. Um, and unlike kind of the school um, and college space, we actually recruit all year round. So we call it roll on, roll off. So you don't have to apply and wait until kind of the September, the summer start to get started with us. It's all year round, which is a real big positive. Um, you'll just see as well to note on the screen there the levels that we offer um, and the typical duration of each of our courses. Okay. Moving on to our education, um, adult education program. So these are typically for those age 19 and over. Um, they're adult education courses. Um, they typically last sort of four to six weeks um, and they're all full um, certificated courses that you can do online with us. And the great thing about these short courses that we offer is that they really prepare you for an apprenticeship. So you can either do them before or some people tend to do them after an apprenticeship. Um, so it's just like an added extra that we can offer alongside our apprenticeship and um, programs as well all right so they're all free fully funded courses um, all delivered online for you with a one-to-one -one, um, support of a tutor so really easy to access as long as you're living in the London or non-devolved areas and um, these courses are all available for you OK, so now you know a little bit about who we are um, at LMP and what we offer. You may be thinking, OK, great. Not sure what an apprenticeship is, though. I'm still a little bit confused around those areas. You know, what does it look like? What's the process? What's involved? Um, so here we're here to tell you really about what an apprenticeship is, those kind of key facts um, and, and the process involved with an apprenticeship. OK. Um, so apprenticeships are full time jobs, essentially, um, and they give you the opportunity to earn a wage and experience and a qualification. So you get it all in one lovely bundle. And um, you may have heard the phrase earn while you learn. Um, and it is essentially that um, what it says on the tin. It's, it's you're, you're earning a wage in that job, gaining those practical skills and you're also gaining um, a qualification as well. OK, so. Um, it's, it's also a great entry point for you. Um, they allow you to gain experience and knowledge for your desired industry, and it will springboard you towards achieving those career goals. So it is really a great starting point um, if you're leaving school or college and you're looking to kind of go into your, your next steps. Um, you will gain a recognised qualification and you'll be adding value to the future of your career. And again, you'll be hearing that phrase a lot, acquiring those skills for life. It really is about that as a starting point, but also the skills that you learn on the job, you'll take forward into your future future careers with you as well. Um, it offers a chance to obtain real life industry exposure. You'll be gaining um, experience and knowledge and skills from experts in your field. Um, and it can be seen as a good alternative. You know, if, if university or college might not be something that's appealing to you, an apprenticeship, I'm sure, um, will will do. So yeah, stick around and um, let's let's hear a little bit more about some apprenticeship details. So um, some of the key facts. Let's go into a little bit more detail then around an apprenticeship. Um, so who can start an apprenticeship? Firstly, anyone can start an apprenticeship. You just need to be 16 or over. Um, there's no upper age limit as well, just to note. So as long as you're 16 or above, um, that there, there is no upper age limit at all. Um, living in the UK through a minimum of three years or more and you've got your right to work documents, not in full time education 
and you can't have prior um, learning in that field. So um, you can't study the same course twice, essentially. Um, I will note as well that you can obviously do progression routes. So say you've done a business course at GCSE at school, you can progress and do your level three, your A-level equivalent with us. And we offer a business admin course um, at level three. It's just you can't do that same level three course twice. All right. Um, and we do look for your English and math GCSEs as well. OK, um, levels of apprenticeships then, just so you can kind of visualise the equivalents. Um, we have the intermediate, which is your, your GCSE, your level two. Um, the advanced is your level three, and that's, as I say, your A-levels typically. And then you have the highest, so the level fours, five, six, um, foundation degrees, and then your degree level. So us at LMP, we don't offer the degree apprenticeships. Um, they are out there. Um, I will provide some some resources at the end that you can look up degree apprenticeships and things like that, if that's something you're interested in. But us at LMP, we tend to offer the level twos, threes and level fours. We do offer a couple of level fives, but they typically tend to be for people that are currently in um, the workplace that are looking to kind of upskill themselves. OK, so as a starting point, if you're at a school or college leaver, you would be looking at going in at around a level two or a level three with us. OK, so. Um, some more key information then around apprenticeships and what they look like. Um, so you will be paid at least the national apprenticeship wage. So there is kind of a little bit of a myth. Um, I attended a careers fair yesterday around um, the wage that you'll receive. You will be paid. Um, they aren't voluntary. You will have a wage. You have all the same employee rights as any other employee. It's just you have your training element um, part, you know, as well alongside your job. And um, if you are 19 plus, then you will move up to the national minimum um, wage for your age after your first year. OK, so the minimum you'll ever receive is six pound 14. That's as of April this year. And um, the minimum duration. So a practical training period for an apprenticeship is 12 months. I think it's 12 months on one day. So you can't complete an apprenticeship less than that time. And um, a lot of apprenticeships tend to be a lot longer than that. So they tend to range um, depending on what course you're looking at. Um, so it will be maybe something from sort of 14, 16 months up to 20, 24 months long. And again, they all vary depending on what course you're looking at going into. Um, you'll need to allow sort of one to three months to do your endpoint assessment as well. That's always included in your overall typical duration anyway, but just something to keep an eye out for when you're applying. Um, in order to complete the apprenticeship, the minimum duration is um, per week, typically around sort of 30 hours you'll be expected to complete. So it is a, you know, a full time job, essentially. And as I mentioned, you'll have all the same employee rights as anyone else. It's just that you have your qualification alongside. Um, you will be entitled to 20% off the job training, um, <clears throat> which we will explain a little bit more to you. Um, this tends to be um, all of those kind of coursework, um, off the job learning that you'll do alongside um, your, your training. So that could be anything from shadowing staff, attending meetings or, you know, lectures, training exercises and um, things like that. It essentially just aims to teach you new skills and um, new knowledge, things that are directly relevant to your apprenticeship. Um, and the purpose of off the job training is to kind of bridge any gaps in your knowledge and um, to ensure that you're, we call it occupationally competent in all the areas. So it just basically means that you're capable in all the areas of the job role. Um, and then just on average, if you're working kind of a, a 30 hour week, say, your off the job training hours you'd be expected to do is around sort of six hours per week. So you'd have that time to do your training, your learning, your coursework alongside your job. And that's all included in your working hours. OK, so hopefully that's gone through um, all of the key details around an apprenticeship, what it is um, and kind of what's involved with an apprenticeship as well. So let's look at skills for life then. Um, the phrase of the week this week. So apprenticeship programs um, are based around KSBs. OK, so that's knowledge, skills and behaviours. And this essentially means that you learn the theory um, and the knowledge part, um, but you also learn how to apply the correct skills and behaviours in the workplace setting as well. So although KSBs is something that you learn um, during your apprenticeship that's aimed, you know, typ typically at that one job role that you're in and that industry that you're currently in, they will provide a great foundation of learning for you that you can then build upon throughout the rest of your career. So, again, it's all about that lifelong learning. 
Um, and then before an apprenticeship actually starts, um, you will have to complete an initial assessment, we call it, and that's to identify your prior learning and your current skills. And this process is to kind of recognise the skills that you already have before you start your apprenticeship. Um, and this kind of early self-assessment is, is quite unique. It's quite a rare form um, of, of, you know, sort of assessing your needs before you start a qualification. And it just allows the apprentice to kind of reflect on their current learning learning, where they're at in their sort of career, um, and it just plays an active role in your development and your growth. Um, programmes are, I mean, this ties in, programmes are um, self, sort of relies on self-reflection, okay? So through regular reviews you have with your tutor, your workplace mentor, it will all help to encourage self-reflection and kind of your own evaluation of where you're at. Um, with your skills and your development and that's something that we would um, you know encourage and, and start to do at the, the very first point in your apprenticeship all the way through to the end so it's all about your learning your development and those skills for life um, and remember that uh, an apprenticeship journey is not only about gaining those technical skills but it's also about becoming you know a well-rounded professional who can contribute to any workplace you know not just within your apprenticeship um but kind of future um careers and job roles as well um, and I always just like to say as just a little reminder you know if you're someone that lacks confidence or um you're a bit hesitant about going into the world of work and it is quite daunting out there there's so much out there at the moment um just try and take something away from kind of every opportunity that you have if that's the one thing you'll take away from today I think it's just try to take something away from every opportunity you're in there's always value um to these the work placements that you're doing if it's work experience if it's a um, you know an online webinar or a session that you're doing just make sure you take something of value away from that and that will always add up um to, to sort of who you are and build upon your skills and knowledge okay so you've heard a lot about um lmp and, and skills for life and apprenticeships and um probably sick of hearing my voice now so i'm going to hand over to our lovely apprentices and um, that are on the call we've got oliver and lily that you can see on the screen um so i'll hand over to you oliver if you want to give a little bit of an intro about yourself and um yeah who you are and why you're here if that's okay of course of course so my name is oliver i'm a digital marketing apprentice here at LMP Group, and I've been working here since January of last year, so just over a year now. An amazing time so far, of course. And now, originally, I was actually in a university just before I joined, and I was taking primary education, and I thought that was a path for me. I really wanted to get into primary teaching. I really wanted to do that sort of thing. However, the course itself wasn't for me, um, and there were lots of difficulties, unfortunately, with the university itself. So originally, I was planning to actually move to a marketing course. It's my second dream, really, as a career. Um, but the university did make it quite difficult to do. There was lots of bureaucracy, per se. So instead, I made the decision to leave. And I was looking online and really trying to figure out where to go. However, there was something that popped up quite consistently, and they were, of course, apprenticeships. So as I found out later, really, as well, they're a great way to earn while I learn. Universities provide that ability to pay to learn. While apprentices kind of do the opposite, you actually get paid and you're able to support the people around you as well, especially if you maybe don't feel as comfortable financially as well in that sort of situation. Or if you just want to make sure that you're in a position where you can support yourself and you know that what you're doing actually helps your career growth, essentially. So I found LMP Group on Indeed, and they had a really strong focus on their values, the, the strong focus and inspiring ambition, as an example, really just wanting to push learners to the best they can be. And for me, I saw this and thought that was amazing. You know, the reviews and the ratings were really, really out there. And with the high multitude of awards, especially from Rate My Apprenticeship, um, I mean, it, it was amazing, really. Um, so I just thought to myself, right, this is something I want to get involved in. And also because it's easy for me to be around my family, remote work really, really helped as well. So those were key factors as to why I applied. And luckily enough, I got to the position that I am in now. So the enrollment process was really, really straightforward. Um, they were always making sure that I understood exactly what was going on. It was I was able to sign up to different sorts of things. I was also made sure that if I did feel a little bit uncomfortable with a certain thing, I was always able to talk to my tutor, who's even to this day has really, really supported me with where I want to go and also helping me understand what I want to do in the future as well. And speaking of my tutor, um, their actually experience in the field with almost over two decades, really, of understanding exactly how digital marketing works. And that really helped me to understand how the back end works, how the front end works, 
what social media is, how can I use it to not just enhance the company's image, but also myself and how I can build connections through, especially things like LinkedIn and everything. And I thought that that's something that I perhaps maybe wouldn't have been able to learn in a university setting or something which isn't an apprenticeship. And so over the time I've been here, I feel like, as mentioned before, skills for life is something that really has expanded. I didn't know how to use things like Canva, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and other video editing tools, and especially things like Google Analytics, which is really the bread and butter of any sort of marketing course. I had no idea how to use that beforehand. But ever since I've joined the apprenticeship, they've made sure if I need a little bit of help with that, I'm always able to, to get taught in that sort of thing. And also they really encourage self-growth as well. In my free time, I've been constantly watching videos, helping build my, uh, my portfolio as well of interest, and to use my off-the-job hours to understand exactly how to use these systems to best benefit both myself and the business that I'm a part of, LP Group, of course. And without an apprenticeship, I'd probably still be in the dark at the end of that course. Maybe I wouldn't know how to actually use the tools which are important for a career. And so as a result, after my apprenticeship, I really, really want to build my connections. I really want to focus on what I've learned here with going on LinkedIn, constantly getting involved with other sorts of webinars like you've been in today, and also making sure that I want to continue that sort of marketing pathway as well. And being part of LMP has enabled me to actually achieve exactly what I want to achieve with that. It's really helped me just focus my mind. And before I was a little bit almost scuttled, really, in exactly what I wanted to achieve, but now I know what I want to do. And so overall, becoming an apprentice has really been one of the best decisions I could have ever made. Um, it, it's really helped me just understand who I want to be. And without LMP, I don't know why I'd be to this day. So I really had a, an amazing time. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you so much for sharing your experiences, Oliver. And it's so lovely to hear such positive um, feedback and, and all of your lovely um, stories and opinions and things that you have from working with us. So thank you so much for sharing that. Um, hopefully that's been a little bit of insight to you all. Um, I will hand over to our second apprentice joining us here today, and that is Lily. Um, Lily is a business admin um, apprentice, so I'll hand over to you, Lily. Thanks, Poppy. Um, so, hello everyone. My name's Lily, and I'm currently enrolled at LMP in a business admin apprenticeship. So I'm working towards completing my level three qualification. Um, I'm halfway through my course with six months under my belt and seven months left to go. Um, so before we dive into today's topic, um, I just want to share a bit about myself as a business admin apprentice. So I've had the opportunity to gain hands on experience in various administrative tasks, from managing schedules to organising documents and assisting with projects. It's been an incredibly, re incredibly rewarding journey so far, and I'm so excited to continue learning and growing within this role. Um, one of the things I enjoy the most about being a business admin apprentice is the diverse range of tasks I get to tackle daily. So um, from interacting with colleagues and clients to problem solving and using different software tools, no two days are ever the same. And this variety keeps me engaged and motivated, constantly learning new skills and refining my abilities. Um, now, you might be wondering why it's so good to do a business admin apprenticeship, but firstly, it provides a fantastic opportunity to gain practical, real-world experience in a professional setting, whilst earning a qualification and a wage at the same time. So this combination of on-the-job on the job training and instructed learning is invaluable for building a strong foundation in business admin. Lastly, I do want to emphasise on the skills that you acquire as a business admin are not only beneficial for your career, but they also are beneficial for life in general. So skills for life. Um, things like time management skills, organisation skills, communication skills, problem solving skills. These are all essential um, skills that will serve you well in any aspect of your life, um, both personally and professionally. Um, just a bit about how an apprenticeship works. Um, so I'm enrolled with LMP Group, which is a remote learning um, apprenticeship program, meaning I don't have to attend college days or classroom days. Instead, I have monthly calls with my amazing tutor to discuss the work they'd like me to complete. They provide me with endless amount of resources and I complete the assignment. Uh, um, I complete the assigned tasks um, in which I then upload onto a system called Smart Assessor. 
So therefore, I believe that undertaking a business admin apprenticeship is a fantastic opportunity to, to kickstart your career and gain valuable skills um, and set yourself up for success in the future. Thanks so much, Lily. Um, again, lovely to hear your um, your views of your apprenticeship and how things are going. And I'm sure I know that your tutor is actually on the call as well. So I'm sure she's probably really pleased to hear um, your experiences and how much you're enjoying it as well. So, yeah, thank you both so much for sharing that. Um, we will come on to some Q&As and things at the end as well. So if anyone's got any specific questions for um, Oliver or Lily, then please do and um, pop that in the, the Q&A uh, function for the end. OK, so you've heard from our um, apprentices. So let's have a look at um, key considerations then. So if you are now considering applying for an apprenticeship, um, these are kind of some top tips and things to really look out for. Obviously, with an apprenticeship, you need to kind of consider both the employer that you'd be working for and the training provider. So who will be delivering that qualification for you? Um, so it's really, really important. I can't emphasize enough to do your research. You know, don't just sort of apply and go for the first one you see, um, unless it's us here at LMP, because we're brilliant. <laughs> but um, do your research. It's really, really important to make sure it's the right fit for you. So in terms of the employer, um, think about, you know, do you really want to be working for that organization? Um, what do they stand for? You know, what are their core values, their missions, their objectives? Is that something that kind of resonates with you? Um, is this the start of the career that you really want to be going into? You know, if you're a little unsure, you know, it, it's never the worst sort of decision to go through an apprenticeship and, and I say, you know, gain those skills and kind of develop and learn and, and you'll you'll kind of figure it out as you go along. Um, but just make sure it's something that you're going to be committed to. I think that's the biggest thing. We see so many people um, that come from other um, organisations or from colleges and they just didn't enjoy their course. So just make sure it's something that I think you're interested in and that you enjoy. Um, and then can you get to work easily, I think is a big one. So make sure that you can commute there. It's realistic for you to do every day. Um, in terms of the training provider's perspective, um, just make sure that it's you know a good quality provider. They've got those awards, those offset ratings. Um, yeah, make sure that their, their recent offset inspection has been sort of publicised and you can have a, a look at that. Um, their employee and apprentice reviews are a big thing to look out for. You can access those online. Um, look at their progression opportunities that are available in terms of, you know, future training and, and career progression routes. Um, how will the training be delivered? So with us, obviously, a lot of ours is um, uh, a hybrid or blended learning. So it's all online, remote um, studies for you. You'll have a tutor that you work with kind of one to one. And um, that's not always the case. Other providers have block placements and um, you might have, have to attend a college a day release once a week. Um, or again in like a block release so just make sure you do your research and it's something that you know fits in well with your life and your sort of schedule as well um, and then just make sure that the training training is relevant to the type of job and the career that you are wanting to go into um, and you can look at all of the um, the training programs online so if you're ever unsure and you want to kind of have a little bit of a, um, a real detailed look at the courses and the programs that are out there as an apprenticeship um, a really good website to look at is the institute of apprenticeship apprenticeships sorry um so have a look on their website that's the link there on the page there for you um have a look at their website and it just outlines every program every standard we call it of an apprenticeship program and you can look through all of those in great detail um if you know if you're ever sort of confused or unsure about what they actually involve you can have a full breakdown of the modules the units that are involved there as well um, OK, so moving on then um, to some CV and application tips now. So really looking at, you know, the next steps if you are looking at applying um, to an apprenticeship in the future. So um, some big ones for us, obviously, we are um, the recruitment team. So we, we, you know, day in, day out, we're reviewing CVs and applications here. And um, so for us, the do's are make sure that it's, you know, it's personal um, to you. It's it's an individual profile of, of who you are, your character. We get so many CVs that are very generic um, and they tend to sort of not stand out as much. So do make sure it's a reflection of you and who you are. And um, so adding that personal profile, do an intro about yourself. 
um, and you can include things like your background, you know, your career goals, your aspirations. Um, do use a clear, smart black font, you know, no funky colours, um, as long as it's sort of smart and clean and professional. Um, you should include sections on your work experience, your education history, you know, your awards, your achievements, any sort of skills or volunteering um, placements that you've done is always a good one. Um, have a little look at online CVs examples as well. Um, we can provide you with some CV support. So if you are um, looking to sort of reach out and get in contact with us, apply for our roles, we can support you with CV support and help as well. Um, try to tailor your CV to the specific job role that you're going for, or at least the industry. You know, I appreciate you might be applying for several different roles across different um, providers or, or platforms, but just make sure it's aimed at one industry um, specifically. We get so many CVs, you know, if they apply for a nursery position in early, early years, for example, um, and their CV will be all about how they love admin um, and office work. So, you know, just make sure that it is relevant and sort of tailored to the career that you're wanting to go into um and then i think a big big one as well to make sure and um, before you submit make sure that you proofread or ask someone you know a family member a teacher a friend just to sort of proofread your cv go through it all with you um, and just check you know spellings and, and punctuations and things like that Okay, so do, uh, don't then, <laughs> don't um, overshare too much information. And um, so as I say, keep it professional, keep it really clean and smart. Um, use um, formal language, you know, don't be using anything informal or slang terms, things like that. Um, don't just write your name and a few sentences, really make sure the structure is there. Again, look at CVs online to help with the structure. Um, don't speak poorly or bad, bad mouth any previous employees. You'll be amazed at how many CVs we get, we, you know, we get and, and their um, the application forms are sort of bad mouthing previous um, companies that you've worked for. Please don't do that. It's not a great look. Um, don't include personal data. So things like, you know, your, your bank details, definitely don't um, provide those. Your national insurance number, you know, your height and your weight and things like that. Um, you know, if they ever want things like that, that will be obviously once you've been successful and you have that offer and you're due to start with them, they might get you to fill in some, um, you know, some new starter paperwork and things like that. Um, but no personal details, just sort of your name and your email that's professional. And that kind of brings me on to the last point. Please don't use any inappropriate um, email addresses. Maybe consider making a new email um, address for, you know, for your CVs and when you're applying to apprenticeships or job roles. We, get, again, get so many um, email addresses that are maybe rude or informal um, and use funny, funny language. So, yeah, just um, keep sort of bear that in mind, I think, um, when applying for, for roles. And um, so hopefully that's given you, again, a little bit of insight into the do's and the don'ts um, of the application process. In terms of um, the enrolment and applications with us here at LMP, um, so if you are applying with us and um, you're going through that, that process, you've looked at our vacancies, which we will come on to in the next few slides around our vacancies, um, and you've decided to apply with us, this is kind of what the process will look like in terms of the application. Um, so you will undergo a screening call with a member of us within the recruitment team. We're all um, experienced in our roles and we all have sort of IAG um, information and guidance um, and advice qualifications to really make sure that the role you're applying for is the right fit for you. So we'll discuss things like, you know, is the commute doable for you? Are the wage, um, you know, and the hours suitable? Um, is the course right for you? So we'll just go through and have a real conversation around what your goals are, if it's going to be um, suitable and realistic for you to kind of commit to across that kind of, you know, 16, 20 month programme. Um, during the call, you'll undergo eligibility checks, um, and that includes things like your English and math certificates. So typically, we will need evidence of those, um, any sort of form of ID, obviously your CV, if you've got that, that will be brilliant. Um, and it's not to worry, if you haven't got a CV, again, we can support you with those. Um, and if you haven't got maths and English, we can discuss ways around that that we can support. Um, so, yeah, ideally, if you have got maths and English to a pass or a functional skills level two equivalent, that would be brilliant. But we do also provide um, some support in your functional skills 
alongside the apprenticeship. We don't typically say, um, you know, it, it's ideal to not have passed your English and maths when you're applying, purely because it would be a lot for you to do um, your maths and English qualifications alongside the apprenticeship. It would be an awful lot of work um, and we wouldn't want to set anyone up to fail. OK, so we have your best interest at heart there. Um, and then once you are successful, a detailed skills scan um, will be conducted during the enrolment phases, okay? And we do this just to identify your starting point and again, any sort of previous skills or learning that you've learned. And that will help us and your tutor formulate an individual um, learning plan for you. So the great thing about LMP is that um, you don't work within a big you know, class, big group of us. Um, when you meet with your tutor on sort of a monthly basis, it is one to one. So all of your learning is very specific to you, what your needs are, any support that you need. It's it's one to one. So you have that support um, solely with your, your tutor, which is great. Um, so that's a little bit about the application process. You have the call with the recruitment team. Once you're successful and you've had that interview with the employer and the company, um, you'll have a, a call with your uh, with the enrolment team and then with your tutor to get you all in, in boarded and, and sort of enrolled with us. OK, um, so moving on now to our hot um, hot jobs, our, our hot apprenticeships that we've got available. So as I mentioned, we have um, anything from kind of 90 to 200 live vacancies at any one time with us here at LMP. Um, so these are just a few um, snippets of the ones that we're currently um, advertising and recruiting for. Um, we actually have interviews um, for these in the next few weeks. So if, if you're someone interested in these programmes, living in these areas, you know, please do um, to get involved with, with, with these courses now. Reach out to us. I'll tell you at the end how you can um, apply and how you can um, reach out to us and send across your CV. Um, so don't worry about that. But in terms of our, our current jobs, um, we've got early years in London, Harrogate and Essex. So that's the nursery positions. Um, and they range from level twos to level threes. We do also offer progression routes in those courses as well, um, up to the level fours and fives. Um, business admin, we've got um, apprenticeships available in Birmingham, London and Leicester areas. We have finance assistant, the level two in London, Hammersmith, uh, teaching assistants, um, Uxbridge, um, Salisbury, Southampton and Sheffield. We have SEN teaching assistants as well. So we do offer specific pathways for the special educational needs apprenticeships as well. Um, and they're based in Uxbridge and Leicester. Uh, facilities operative so those that are interested in facilities now you might be thinking okay that actually wasn't on our course list at the start um but just to kind of clear up any confusion there we also work with as i say inspire ata they're um part of the lmp group um and the great thing about inspire and the company there is that um, they work with hundreds of other training providers so if there's a course or a program that we don't offer here at lmp that i've mentioned um the the inspire team will be able to support you and work with another provider and um, that can find you that course and um, that we can then facilitate so there's lots of options and um, we're not just limited to the ones that we offer here at LMP and um, the accounts assistant we have the level three based in Surrey and a sports teaching assistant as well so those of you that are interested in becoming a, a PE teacher or exploring the sort of sports sector um, in a school, we have a position in Norfolk. Um, so these aren't um, the only roles we have. These are just a few of our um, ones that are interviewing, as I say, in the next few weeks. Um, the full list we do have on our website. If I go to the next slide, like magic, um, our, our website will look like this. Um, so if you are interested in applying or even just browsing through our vacancies list, um, if you go onto our website, LMP Group, LMP Education, um, hover over the apprenticeships page um, at the bottom there, you can see explore now our current opportunities. Um, so simply just click on that, that link there and it will open up all of our, our current openings um, that we're currently recruiting for. And as I say, there, there is hundreds and we are UK wide. So it's all over the UK, not just within you know London and the sort of the big cities. It's all across England. Um, when you do click on those vacancies, it will open up all of those key details. So it's a normal job description, you know, where they're based and what the course will entail, the length, the duration of the course, the wage, the hours. It will all be there for you. So that's all on our website. Um, if someone from the team can actually pop that um, link in the chat, that would be a, a real big help. People have got that then. 
Um, in terms of kind of the process from here and your sort of applicant journey, um, this is kind of what we estimate it would look like. So obviously from today, the Zoom broadcast, um, hopefully you'll, you'll now be interested in applying to one of our vacancies. You'll have a look on our website and apply today. Um, you'll then be going through the screening process. You'll have your call with a member of the recruitment team um, and then the interviews will be set up. Um, once we've established it's the right fit for you, we'll, we'll set up those interviews with um, our employers and um, you'll have your interview and then hopefully all being well, you may have a trial, um, a trial day with, with the um, company and then you'll have that that job offer there. And um, once the job offer has been made, you'll have your enrollment and um, your DBS checks will be done for you um, either with the employer or in-house um, and then you will be ready to go. So it's all about um, that sort of learner journey, really. From today, we estimate to be between sort of two to four weeks, depending on how quickly um, the, the employer and yourself sort of move and, and take action. Um, but it can be done within a matter of sort of four, four weeks, a month. If you're someone that's interested, that's on the call, um, for you know once you've completed a school or a college course that's absolutely fine you know as I mentioned we recruit all year round we have a roll on roll off so you know don't be panicked or worried that you need to sort of apply today when you're sort of looking to start um, in the summertime or once you've completed school and um, so you know I would just recommend getting in touch with us we can have those conversations and um, you can always speak to a member of the team and then um, once you've completed your your current course we can discuss our live vacancies that we've got at that time. Um, alternatively, you can also do a short course, uh, as I say, and then that can then propel you and, and progress you on to an apprenticeship at a later date as well. But yeah, as a rough guide, we would say between sort of two to four weeks to get you sorted and enrolled and start in that apprenticeship journey. Um, OK, so next steps then. We've touched upon this a little bit. Um, but hopefully now you've heard a lot about who we are and the apprenticeships that we offer and you're eager now to go away and look at um, some of our live vacancies. So to apply for one of our apprenticeships, all you need to do today is just email your name, your location and um, the programme of interest. Or if you're interested in you know a few different areas, that's fine. Just pop that in an email and just drop us an email. So our, our um, inbox is apprenticeships at lmpeducation.org um, and just note it is LMP not I we do get that a lot people tend to spell it IMP but it is LMP so please get the email right um, and we will get back to you a member of the team will be in contact with you in the coming days um, if you can send your CV over as well with that if you've got one brilliant that just speeds up the process for us um, and as I mentioned all of our live vacancies are on our careers page via our website um, if you're interested specifically in the short courses team, there is a contact number there that will um, you, you'll be put in touch with a member of the, the team there um, and they can discuss short courses with you in more detail. Um, again, we're happy to discuss um, short courses or apprenticeships with you if you do just want to send us an email. OK, um, so these slides will be sent out to you. So don't worry about if you haven't got the email down, we will send this all out to you so you can um, take it from the slides. In terms of some useful resources, then if you've got to the um, the end of this um, session and you're still feeling a little bit confused, a bit stuck, not sure kind of what career path um, is right for you, do a little bit of research. That's the biggest thing I would recommend. Um, so there's lots of different um, sources here for you to have a look at. The National Career Service is a great one and they actually have a skills assessment that you can complete. That's the second link there for you. Um, and that just basically you're, you're filling in an online um, quiz a questionnaire and then it will it will give you results on kind of those areas that you're you know, you have strengths in and areas that you might want to go into or look into as a career. So that's really interesting and useful to do if you're a little bit unsure. And uh, we've got the Institute for Apprenticeships that I mentioned early on. And that's the website where you've got the full breakdown of all of the programs and courses that we offer um, and, you know, the, 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 the UK sort of standard that they offer. So all of the courses that are out there for you um, and then the govern government national apprenticeship um, website and service. We also post all of our vacancies on there as well. And again, it's it's got a list of all of the apprenticeships across the UK, not just with us, um, but but all of them that are out there that you can search for. All right. So some really good resources there for you. Again, I'll send all of those out um, in the slides for you. So you've got access to those. Um, 
lastly to mention just follow us on all of our social media platforms and um, we do have lots of exciting events we tend to do a lot of summer webinars um, and sessions for those that are leaving college and school and looking for their next steps in their career so do keep track of um, what we're up to again we do a lot of social action and community projects and events as well um, so there may be some in your area that you can come along to and meet some of the team um, so do follow us on all of our platforms it's LMP education if you search that on, on, on you know the social media platforms that will come up for you as well um so yeah do screenshot that take a quick picture have a look at us um on social media um, and keep track of what we're up to um so if you're still here and you've stuck around to the end a big thank you thanks so much for listening we will go to some um q and a's now and um, so if you do have any questions that i've not managed to answer please put them in the um, q and a box um, and um, the panellists will come back to you and we can answer them live on the call. Um, just a reminder, please do send us um, an email at our apprenticeships at LMP education um, inbox and we will come back to you within um, the next sort of couple of days around our vacancies and opportunities. But a big thank you for listening today. Happy National Apprenticeship Week. Um, and it's been great to um, to go through your, your guide to apprenticeships. Um, I'm just going to have a look at the chat box. Um, I will um, invite the panelists and the um, and Lily and Oliver, our apprentices, on um, to answer some of our questions, if that's okay. We'll also have a, a quick look through. Um, Oliver, Lily, is there anything you might want to add? Um, I'm just thinking maybe if you've got any advice that you might want to give or a little top tip for anyone looking to apply, what would you say? Um, what about, I mean, the big thing with me is just be passionate with the thing that you want to be. There's no point of taking something if you're not interested in it, right? Because for me, um, when I was in university, while I was passionate in something, I just felt it wasn't for me in the end. And then it results in me not able to do what I wanted to do as early as I wanted to do it. So that's the most important thing for me. Great. Thank you. Lily, anything from you? Any sort of top tips or anything that you want to share? Um, sorry, I would definitely say if you're looking to do something, do it um if you're looking for a business admin apprenticeship do it um I was kind of on the verge of do I want to do it do I not but um now I'm six months in I'm like I'm so glad I did it I wouldn't ever turn back and not do it <laughs> but yeah brilliant thank you both yeah really useful I think I completely agree um jump at any opportunity I've always been the person to think that you know anything that's handed to you, any opportunity that's there jump at it grab it with both hands um, and you'll soon find out if it's the right fit for you definitely and um, we haven't got many questions i think a lot of them have been answered and discussed and um, there was a question around um sort of progression routes you've done a level three and um, can you progress you've done a, i think a level three in customer service um yeah i would say definitely do do some research look into those websites that i mentioned earlier um the national apprenticeship service the career service things like that um here at lmp you can progress onto um the business admin course we have a hr course as well that you can do if you're currently employed and you're working in a sector um then i would suggest the um school business professional if it's within a school setting you could go into the level four course that we offer as well um but yeah a big thing for us is offering those career pathways um, so whether that be in the early years, the cheap teaching space, the business space, the finance, every course that we offer, we tend to have a level two starting point that you can then progress on to as well. So you'd go from the level two, the level three and, and the level four course. We tend to offer those career pathways for you as well. So you have that foundation of knowledge that you then will build and grow um, upon um, throughout the, the duration of the courses. So, yeah, big thing for us is the career pathways. But thank you for, for that question. I don't think we have anything else. Is there anything else that anyone wants to mention? Um, is everyone sort of all, all happy? Any other questions that are coming through before we end the call? No, I think we're all good. We will leave it there. As I say, I will send out all of the slides um, for you today and the, the recordings will be going out as well. But a big thank you for joining. Again, happy National Apprenticeship Week. Um, it's great to have you on here and celebrating all things apprenticeships with us. Thank you so much for your time and for joining and have a great rest of the week. All the best. Thank you. Bye bye.